so I have here a, a frond of a fern and a, a, I have a reference image that shows me the scale of the, the frond and it's roughly 19 centimeters in length so I would like to scale my frond to that uh, in the scene here in uh, Metashape uh, and by default there isn't really any way to see the size of my frond so what I need to do first of all is come up to model and go to show hide items and turn on the grid uh, and so now I've got a grid but we need to establish what exactly that grid is so if we go to tools and preferences uh, we come to appearance and the grid section here we can start to define the grid and I think by default the grid will probably be set to pixels but I've got mine set to meters and one cell in the grid equals one meter uh, and it doesn't go any lower than that there's no centimeters here which is going to be a little bit inconvenient because we want to measure our object in centimeters so in this situation what we can potentially do if I press OK on there is load in an object that's going to help us establish the scale uh, now to do this we have to kind of um, uh, work with Metashape uh, and one way to do this is is to simply duplicate the existing chunk so if I right click on my chunk and just simply duplicate it and I don't need any uh, information in this all I want is for Metashape to think that this new chunk is actually aligned with the original chunk uh, and in reality I can actually uh, remove the photos and the cameras and there we are we can leave components uh, and if I right click on the copy of the chunk uh, I can import uh, a model and if we come up to a higher level I have one that I prepared earlier I've got a one meter plane and I'm gonna load that into my scene and already because I have this button up here show align chunks it's showing me both chunk one and chunk two uh, and now I'm gonna I'm gonna right click on the chunk again I'm gonna import a texture for my one meter grid which is this and I've just simply created a checkerboard so the large the large squares are 10 centimeters and the smaller squares are one centimeter so this this is basically a ruler that's accurate to one centimeter uh, and now I can potentially scale my fern so you want to be careful here and make sure you before you start scaling anything because you can't undo scaling operations you, you can sort of scale it back but you can't press Control z and undo any scaling so you want to be careful uh, and make sure that you're scaling the thing that you intend to scale uh, but we also it, it's nice to be able to move the pivot point at which the scaling is going to happen on this third and that's defined by the region so if I look here um, you can see that the this middle handle is actually where the, the pivot point is going to be so I'm going to use the the actual region to the region resize to position my pivot at the bottom of my frond or at the end of the the stem like so so I could do something like that and I'm in top view so if I press one to go into the side view yeah I can see that now this this little handle here is pretty much at the base of my frond um, so if I go back to top view by pressing seven uh, and then going to come over to the uh, transform tool and I'm going to scale my object and I think if I just simply left click in the viewport like that and then drag it's going to scale down my frond like so and if I remember correctly this is about, it's supposed to be 19 centimeters so that's a little bit smaller than it ought to be so again if I just left click and drag should be around about there so now I have managed to scale my my frond to the desired length